To some, Fidel Castro was a revolutionary, a symbol of defiance against the machine of capitalism. To others, he was a dictator, committed to stifling free speech and civil rights. His death Friday triggered many emotions. I was happy, a lot of emotion. Actually, I cry a lot. Rosa Gonzalez was born and raised on the small island nation. She remembers a childhood filled with hope when Castro first took power from U.S.-backed Fulencio Batista. So my childhood there was excellent. Um, and then everything actually changed. I remember my mother, the first time he speak, Fidel Castro, it was January 1st, 1959, and we were listening to him, and we were all excited. I love him, all my family, my brothers. However, my mother say, I don't like this. I think he is not the person he claimed he is. Gonzalez started speaking out against the regime. She was expelled from school and soon fled to Spain before eventually moving to Miami and then to Western New York. Friday, Gonzalez shed tears not to celebrate a leader's death, but to rejoice in the possibility of a new chapter for a place she still feels is home. She met now leader Raul Castro as a teenager. She remembers a kind man, one whom she hopes will continue to improve relations with the U.S. This guy had an impact on the world. Like Gonzalez, Cuban-born Rene de la Pedraja was a supporter of Castro early on. As a little boy, he saw the dogmatic military leader as a symbol of change. His popularity was tremendous, and he begins doing these good things to help people there, but uh, at the price of taking things away. De la Pedraja, who has written books on Cuba's history, feels strongly that despite Castro's shortcomings, he did more good than harm. Things that we take for granted. I mean, we had in the United States the civil rights struggle there. Martin Luther King, we all know what happened to him. Before all that, Castro came and he abolished segregation just like that in Cuba. The now professor at Canisius College lost family members at the hands of the Castro regime, but still feels his image was tainted by the U.S., who saw him as a defiant figure to their definition of government. How would you describe him in a word? I would say a, a, a true, uh, a loyal revolutionary, if I may be allowed a second word. He always stayed true. To, the problem with our politicians, they say one thing and then they do another thing or they promise one thing or they don't do it. For him, Fidel lived up to his name, which in Spanish means faithful. According to Cuban officials, Castro was cremated. Sunday, the island began a nine-day mourning period for their former leader. Reporting in Buffalo, Jen Schantz, News 4.